Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love read. Pisces, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Pisces, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Well, by the way, the sun card flipped out while I was doing the reading, I mean doing the shuffling. So let's hope it comes out again, which is the happiest card in the deck. Ooh, eight of wands and the emperor. That's a good start. Okay. And um, welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies etc. If this is your reading, um, Pisces, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, nine of wands it seems somebody really does want to try again here pisces i mean of course sometimes this card is of uh, somebody being a bit guarded that could be possible too on one person's side but from what i see of uh, one side of the energy i mean newcomers these are just two soul energies okay i don't know which side you're on whether you're a man or a woman uh, these are genderless readings these are two souls who are connected to each other how they feel about each other and what's the most likely action they'll take towards each other if this is your reading of course you'll pick up which side you're on right so well uh, let's start actually let me just take a look at the cards for a second okay so from what i'm seeing here um, pisces somebody really does want to communicate they want to talk they want to communicate Either they are looking at their person as the be all and end all of their life and uh, they want communication from them or they want to send communication. The other person somewhere is kind of wanting a transformation of this uh, connection as well but very very burdened at this time wondering is it over I mean is it the end here how come nothing is happening maybe things have come to a close now so well let's see I'm going to clarify all these cards for you but first let's start with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be then we'll do the clarification so Pisces and their person spirit Pisces and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person, one more. Thank you. Let's take a few more Pisces from another deck. Pisces and their person, if they could say something to each other now, spirit, what would that be? Pisces and their person. one more Pisces and that person all right just a few more Pisces from a third deck as well and then we can start the reading Pisces and that person all right good to go Pisces let's start the reading the first card here says recovery takes time please have faith in me I see my future with you my feelings for you are now platonic. Like I said, one person still wants to talk. The other person's feeling, yeah, is it over now? Maybe we should just be friends and with, you know, no benefits. <laughs> You're all I ever need. You complete me. I'm angry with you, but really, I'm angry with myself. I have commitment issues. You changed up and that triggers me. I wish you would tell me how you truly feel so I don't have to get readings on you. I'm shutting you out. I want to hold you. I don't want to hide this love. 
I always knew you were my other half. Sometimes I wish I'd never even met you. Nothing else matters but you. So, like I said, one person is saying, "Okay, I'm accepting. Maybe this is end. This has ended. This was too much of a burden. Um, they should. Uh, they should have apologized to me or something like that." One person has said, "I think wanting to fight for this connection even now. Uh, they have been spying. They have been waiting, and they want to talk." So, let's start the reading. But first. of course our angel blessing card pisces let's see what my angels are going to say mm, what's the blessing guidance advice or a message forgiveness pisces maybe this situation needs a bit of forgiveness maybe on one person's side maybe you guys just need to forgive yourselves for the past i don't know mistakes right first and foremost find forgiveness in your heart for yourself and then maybe you can forgive each other as well forgiveness okay spirit let's start the reading i'm going to start with person a's energy now okay so person a uh, what's the eight of wands in your emotions feelings eight of wands yeah they do want to end whatever conflict you guys have had they want to start communication again they want to have peace with their person once again right this is like one person is rowing the boat away from troubled waters and they've got another person sitting in the boat with them give me one more for the eight of wands spirit eight of wands yeah they want to they want to start a stable brand new beginning it's like you know let's start from scratch let's start again let's start talking let's just end all our fights why what's the emperor spirit what's the emperor yeah emperor is in love <laughs> emperor is in love that's what i felt when i looked at the cards right in the beginning and yes somebody here it has leveled up and they want to now step up they want to take charge they want to take control of this relationship they've realized that uh, they have a lot of love for the other person who they see as a queen of cups a perfect match okay so why don't you tell me uh, why why are you suddenly in love and why do you want to talk and why do you want to now end the fights why don't you tell me that because they've been very sad and very depressed without their person and i think in this this time uh, that they've been i think uh, watching that person or spying on that person or you know not talking but kind of they've always had their eye on the other person right they've realized how much love they have in their heart for them they see the other person as loving kind generous beautiful and yes <laughs> emperor's back again no wonder the sun card flipped out um, when i was doing the shuffle right somebody really sees the other person as their sunshine their happiness their everything and they want to now do right by the other person so page of swords page of swords a reunion they want to they want a reunion they want to bring back the happy times Yes, they've thought long and hard. This person has been quietly been by themselves, maybe on the side watching the other person. And the more they've been watching, the more they've been missing them. The more they've been falling in love, and the more this person has been now wanting to start communicating. And the sun card is back. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So this was the card which was trying to come out right at the beginning, right? Before I started the reading and here it's back again. Yes, person A wants to bring back the happiness in this connection. What a wonderful reading. Okay, so person A, tell me more. Tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you see the other person? Uh 6 of wands. What's the 6 of wands? One more. person a does want to have um, have this happily ever after with them they see person b as their potential long term partner long term companion the one they want to spend the rest of their life with have a family with have a future with and they yes they do see that if i can get that with person b that would really make me feel like on top of the world victorious but the problem here is both of you have been stressed out i think both of you have been in your corners thinking overthinking stressed out why the eight of swords 
Why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords? They don't know how to tell the other person that they're ready for commitment now. This person, ha because you guys are not talking, right? Maybe that, um, maybe in the past you guys were friends and the new courts have stopped talking to each other. Now they don't know how to suddenly get up and say, you know what, I'm ready for commitment. I, I see a future with you. I want to marry you. Uh, they feel the other person has uh, not talking to them either. But that is their wish. Yes, they have chosen their direction. They have chosen their path. They see person B as their path and they see person B as their wish come true. Right. So the only thing is uh, there's a bit of uh, anxiety. There's a bit of stress. There's a little bit of overthinking. They feel that person B is you know, going to overthink this or be stressed out. So that's making them stressed out. Uh, they are. I think person A is also stressed out because they see person B as somebody very, very attractive. Somebody who is really, you know, kind of maybe sometimes they feel they're better than me. I don't think so because they're showing up as an emperor now. Emperor twice. Right, which is a very very powerful energy and uh, they know to get the other person back they probably will have to come back with an apology or something they're just a little confused about how to approach it but their intentions are absolutely clear I want to head towards person B because that is the person for me that is the most positive reading I've seen for Pisces so far, at least on one person's side. But now I have to go to the other side and see what's happening there. So before I open person A's action card as the most likely action they may take, I'm going to, of course, do that later. I'm going to go to the other side. So person B, let's uh, talk to you now. Person A is in a very good place, okay? So person B, death card. What's the death card? Oh, person B feels this is over. Yep, they feel I've been dealing with a trickster. We've had our tower moment. And uh, according to B, this connection has already come to a halt. It's over. Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, they've been heartbroken. Person B is feeling heartbroken and very weighed down by the fact that things are over. See, in person B's mind, they feel... It's a full stop. What's the point? I've, I've had my heart broken. I was probably dealing with a trickster. We've had our towers. I was carrying all the weight of the connection on my shoulders. And now I'm tired. It's done. I'm very, very overwhelmed. The person B is like accepted that this is over. My feelings are platonic. I'm shutting you out. That's the best thing I should do because you were probably not a true person. Why do you feel this way, person B? Tell me. Page of Cups. What's the Page of Cups? Were you waiting for an apology? Yes, I guess. I think person B has been waiting for an apology. They feel that um, uh, each time they do try and communicate or they did try and communicate in the past, it uh, backfired. It backfired on them in, in a way which left them confused. I mean, person B never really knew, knew what person A wanted in the first uh, place, right? So, I think it's kind of made them feel insecure. Like, I don't know what you want. Each time we do talk, things just fall apart or maybe person B feels person A is a liar or a cheat or something. Um, yeah, the same thing, right? Each time person B has become excited that yes there can be something stable here it either becomes a fight or it becomes a competition or it becomes like person b says no 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 there are other people in the mix or something like that and uh, person b could be kind of healing themselves with the acceptance that uh, this connection is over star card yeah, they have accepted the fact. Person B says, yes, yes, I've healed. In fact, right now I'm focusing on being single, Omkara Taro. That thought is not even in my mind. I mean, this is all over for me because of what happened in the past. I've had my heart broken by them. They never apologized to me. They never came forward with anything uh, on offer. When, they, when we did talk, it ended up in a fight. And well, uh, I've, I'm healing myself and focusing on myself as all the tarot readings have been telling me that, you know, like focus on yourself, focus on yourself. That's exactly what I've been doing. But what person B doesn't realize that this 
high vibration that they're putting themselves in has actually helped person A to value them even more. Now they are seeing person B as the queen of cups, somebody who's of high value, somebody who's attractive, somebody who's taking care of themselves and wants to now com come and commit towards them. Okay, so person B, tell me, how do you see the connection now? How do you feel about person A? Person B says, um, See, person B is on a different tangent right now. Person B says, I have become the queen of swords, Omkara Taro. I have taken my power back. I am guarded towards person A now because uh, they kept secrets from me. They were hiding things. So, I am I'm, I'm a bit scared of them now. So, I am going to keep my guard up. I don't want to get hurt again. Yeah, I am in fact, I'm in fact, as much as I did care for them, I am ready for new love. I am cutting them out. I, oh my God, I am scared of you person B right now. Look at this, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Now, this is somebody very intimidating, right? So, no wonder person A is in the Eight of uh, Swords and feeling overthinking and really worried as to how person B is going to react. Uh, person B is saying, yeah, yeah, I've had my heart broken. I've taken all the advice very seriously. I've now, I'm totally guarded. I've cut them out of my life and uh, well, I'm ready for new love now. Why is that? Why is the moon card here? <coughs> Why is the moon card here? Yeah, because person B says, I feel they kept secrets because why else would they hold back from me? Why else were they always guarded towards me? They never gave me anything. I mean, they were always protective and uh, they never invested in, in this connection. So, yeah, it left me disappointed. It left me very disappointed because all this while, when I was waiting for them to come forward with a love offer or an apology, they always held back from me. So, yes, I, I've just become like them now. So, I'm also pulling my energy back now. I'm guarding myself, right? So, person B says because person A was cold and they were very standoffish. So, it's almost like I'm going to match their energy now. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take now. This is getting complicated. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Pisces. And while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, makes me feel very, very happy. Thank you so much. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers the, who haven't subscribed already, do join the Omkara family. We welcome you in. So, person A, let's start with you. Action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Ten of swords in reverse. They want to end this chapter of pain and they want to pull out those swords now which have created an ending. Okay, ten of swords in reverse. Clarify that for me, please. What's the ten of swords in reverse? Six of wands. Yes, they want to have victory with person B once again. Six of uh, swords, six of wands, six of swords, okay? Like this was their first card. It's like, can we just end the fight now? Can we move towards happier times? I want to have victory with you. I, I want to end this chapter of hurt and pain. Yes, this person is trying to gather up their courage to be able to come forward. There's a little bit of stress because they are not sure uh, that person B is going to allow them back in. But otherwise, I'm telling you, person A is absolutely ready absolutely ready to they want to come and speak their truth they're ready now okay so person b tell me action from your end towards person a or otherwise two of pentacles yeah person b is i i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know uh, you know this is what happened in the past so well okay why is the two of pentacles your action. Six of eight of wands, sorry, two of pentacles again, six of cups, ten of wands. I think person B is A a little confused. I don't think they'll mind communication if it comes from person A, but look at this. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I do miss them and I would like to have them back. But you know what? I've kept my bags packed already. In case they come forward with an apology or a love offer, then maybe. But if they, you know, even misstep even once, look at me. I've already got my bags packed here. I'm leaving. This is a hint of mistrust, I think, where person B is concerned. So no wonder this 